And I can safely say that that is probably the most tedious thing I've ever done in my life. Na 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 na. Yeah, guys. Before this gets cold, I'm gonna literally serve it up to the fam now. But yeah, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with a new vid. So my food videos on YouTube seem to be doing really well. My fake away videos that I've done during lockdown. Obviously we're not in lockdown anymore, but I thought I'd continue with the fake away vids because I like doing them and you guys really like them as well. So I thought I'd come back today and do something completely different. If you live in Birmingham like I do, um, you'll know that it's literally like the only place in the UK that hasn't got a Taco Bell right now, which to me is really confusing because normally Birmingham, London, Manchester will get places first and then they'll spread across to everywhere else. But for some reason, everywhere but Birmingham, it feels like anyway, has a Taco Bell. So as much as lockdowns, you know, been lifted and all that now, we can go out. I can't go out and get a Taco Bell. I wanna go to Taco Bell. I can't go to Taco Bell. I'm on an all-carb diet. God, Karen, you are so stupid. I thought I'd come and do a Taco Bell. It just made perfect sense to do that one. And Mexican is one of my top three cuisines. So obviously there's quite a lot of menu items at Taco Bell. I'm not gonna do all of them. I'm gonna do the ones that I personally like. So I'm gonna do the Crunch Supreme Wrap. I'm gonna do the um, nachos. I'm gonna do some fries. And then I'm gonna do, what was it? Oh, the tacos. Obviously you can't do Taco Bell and not do tacos. It just don't make sense. I'm gonna just do the whole shebang really. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I'm also gonna make the cheese sauce from scratch as well, which I'm really excited about. I'm quite excited to see how that comes out and everything. So yeah, this is actually my first time doing it. Same as when I done the Nando's, it was my first time. So yeah guys, if you wanna see how I make my Taco Bell, then just stay tuned. guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly show you my ingredients list the stuff that I picked up from the shop um, I'm also gonna leave like a list down below and break down what you need for each thing that I'm making so if you don't want to make something you don't have to pick up that ingredient kind of thing so if you want to skip past this part you always can but you know I just feel like it's helpful to have this part in the video as well so the first thing I picked up was a lettuce um, we're gonna do some shredded lettuce this is for the tacos and the crunch supreme wrap I've also bought some cherry tomatoes as well for the tacos and then also for the crunch supreme wraps as well then I've got some red onion um, I'm not actually sure what the red onion goes into um, but I definitely saw it in some Think so that's why I picked up the red onion again for both the crunch supreme wrap and the tacos I picked up some steak mints um, you can get beef or steak mints it doesn't actually matter um, steak mints is just a little bit better for you and it's got 5% fat so you know we're staying healthy over here so I also bought this seasoning mix which is sweet paprika and garlic so this is like basically gonna season the meat and the steak mints I bought two of these I don't know where the other one's gone but I'll find it <laughs> obviously for the tacos I had to get some taco shell so I just got the old El Paso one this is the brand that we have in the UK for our Mexican stuff which is amazing a um, little fun fact, I went to Mexico and had Mexican food. Mexican's my favourite cuisine, yes, but one of them, but only in the UK or maybe in America. I'm sure it tastes the same in America as well with Taco Bell and stuff like that. Um, but in Mexico, wow. I don't know what was going on, but if any of you guys have actually gone to Mexico and tried the Mexican food, let me know what you thought of it because to me, no disrespect and stuff, but ooh. No. I mentioned to you guys earlier as well that my dad was vegan, so I bought him some refried beans. Um, I also got some mini tortilla wraps. Um, these are actually to go inside the Crunch Supreme wraps. Um, I'm going to bake these later on. You'll see later anyway. Some normal wraps. These are just Mission Deli ones. They're not even like Old El Paso ones or anything. They're literally just wraps. Um, that you get in the bread aisle, so yeah. I also got some avocados, and then I got this as well to make some guacamole with. Um, it's the old El Paso guacamole seasoning mix, and I thought, ooh, that sounds really nice. And last but not least, for the cheese sauce, I bought some mature cheese slices, some milk, and then some jalapenos. Um, you need the jalapenos for the actual brine inside, and the recipe that I'm following says to use uh, 
this these specific jalapenos i'm not sure why what the difference is but i also got nachos i got the old el paso ones and then i also just got some plain ones but originally i bought these and i know they're not in a square shape they're like brown so i wanted everything to look like taco bell and be you know how specific I, if you've watched my fake away videos you already know how specific i get so yeah guys then i also bought some cathedral city lighter cheese and then i also got some sour cream as well because you cannot have mexican food without sour cream like you just can't so yeah guys i'm about to get into cooking and i'm so excited i've got so much to do i feel like but let's just go <laughs> The first thing I'm going to tackle is the salad because you know it just seems like the most boring part to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly wash my salad and then I'm going to cut it up just like Taco Bell do. I feel like with Taco Bell it's that really fine shredded lettuce. I really like the way their lettuce is so I'm going to try and get it like that. It's probably going to take me forever but you know we're going for that. And then these tomatoes as well. Taco Bell's tomatoes are really like finely chopped into like little triangles so I'm going to get it like I'm going to try and get these like that as well. Just realised that obviously you wash the lettuce after and you cut it. <laughs> so yeah I'm going to go and shred this lettuce and then obviously wash it afterwards. So guys, we've got a bowl of shredded lettuce here. This is the best we're gonna do. It's the best we're gonna get, to be fair. We're gonna move on to the tomatoes. And you know, I'm just gonna cut them exactly how Taco Bell do them. So I'm gonna, ooh, ooh, they're going everywhere. Yeah, so I'm literally just gonna cut them exactly how they are at Taco Bell. So I think that would be like, boom. Cut it in half. Cut it in half again. And then cut a chart, then cut those in half. Yeah, that is Taco Bell tomatoes. So guys, I've literally just finished chopping the tomatoes and I can safely say that that is probably the most tedious thing I've ever done in my life. Um, it took forever. But I can't lie to you, the tomatoes are looking great. They're looking exactly like Taco Bell tomatoes. Um, I like the lettuce, which was a bit thicker than I wanted it to be. These tomatoes actually look perfect, so let me not complain. So now, guys, I'm just going to move on to chopping my onions. I'm going to do them both really fine. This one's to go into the minced beef, or the steak mince. And then this one's to go into the actual wraps and the tacos. So, yeah. This isn't actually in Taco Bell, I don't think. I had a look on the internet. But, you know, we're going to go with a red onion anyway, because me and my family we love a bit of red onion you can tell i ain't cooked in a minute because why don't onions make me cry out here <coughs> so save me Nah, 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 This can't be happening right now. Like, it's, it's like I've only got halfway through the onion. What is going on? Ah! Nah, my eyes. My eyeballs, please. Damn. Ooh, I'm loving the wet. Nah, I nearly took my nail off. All I have to do is get like a knife like this then. Because what you can do is just... And you can really dice the onion up. No, I'm some real Jamie Oliver type. Type issue. Guys, right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these in the oven for about 15 minutes. So that will crisp them up and then you put these inside the actual crunch wraps. So yeah, um, the recipe said to use these things called toast starters, but we don't have those in the UK. So this is the closest thing to a toast starter. Yeah. So yeah, once you've got the packet open, all you want to do is just, I'm going to take six out because there's currently six people in the house. Uh, my dad's got a guest over and if he wants one, then he's more than welcome. So I'm just going to place them into a baking tray. Um, I'm going to get one exactly like this and use that one as well. Okay. Oh yeah, just about fit. So I've taken some extra virgin olive oil here and I've got a little brush that I used in my Nando's video. So 
So guys, I've got the oven on 180 and what I'm going to do, I'm literally just about to pop these both sets of them into the oven for about 15 minutes. So now I'm going to move on to making the guacamole. So obviously um, the recipe says to use two avocados. I'm just going to use one. I'm going to go for the one that's like a bit softer, which is this one. So let's go. What I'm going to do is just get the back of a fork and just mash that all. So guys, this is the guacamole. I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out, to be honest. It looks really good. And that seasoning mix that I put inside it, ooh. So what I'm going to do is just once I've mixed this little last bit in, I'm going to cover it with cling film and then just pop it off to the side for later on. The tostadas out or the tortilla wraps out and this is how they're looking. I don't know if they're a little bit burnt now. Nah, I think they'll be alright. I don't know, this is kind of how you want them to be, like quite crispy and stuff, so look at me convincing myself. But yeah, this is how they are. Um, I could put in some more, but to be honest i think these are fine so i'm just gonna pop these to the side now for when we're doing the crunch wraps so guys i'm gonna move on to the seasoning mix that you put on top of the nachos so yeah just gonna quickly make that it's not too long there's not too many ingredients involved so two and a half tablespoons of paprika two teaspoons of salt three quarters of a teaspoon of garlic powder Three quarters of a teaspoon of onion powder. Three quarters of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. And then we're going to sprinkle this on top of the nachos. I'm quite excited to see how they turn out. Um, I'm going to do some with and obviously some without. Now we're moving on to the cooking part of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to wash my steak mint and then I'm going to pop it into that saucepan there. I'm just going to leave that to simmer and just turn it occasionally. Okay, so now guys, I'm going to pop my onions in because the mint is looking cooked enough now. So I'm going to do 250 ml of the milk okay and just pop that in a saucepan it says to use seven cheese slices so we're going to go in with seven and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to individually open them i'm so excited i hope this turns out good because this is like the main thing i think the cheese sauce oh, but here is our stack of cheese that's going into our cheese sauce. To be fair, it does look like quite a lot of cheese now I've done it like this. So guys, in here we've got some milk and seven cheese slices. I might add more, but I think they are actually melting down into the milk, which I'm really excited about right now, because this is working. So guys, I've just put a tablespoon of flour, a teaspoon, a heap teaspoon of flour, into the cheese sauce as well. Um, we're gonna mix a few more cheese slices in there as well, I think. Guys, it says to add some of the pickled jalapeno brine into the cheese sauce. So, ooh, so I'm about to do that now. I don't know how much to add in. I'm gonna go in with the whisk instead because I've used one like um, spoon, what the spoon's creating. Um, so, I'm going in with the whisk now because I just feel like that will blend everything a little bit more. I'm just going to keep adding cheese slices till it looks cheesy enough for me. Like it just needs to be darker than this. Um, let me show you guys what it's looking like right now. So this is the colour of it. It looks a little bit white, do you know what I mean? Like it needs to be a little bit darker than that. So this cheese sauce, it smells exactly like the um, one in the cinema. I'm so happy. I can't, I didn't even know you could do this with cheese slices. It's actually becoming exactly what I want it to become. Ow, man, nah, that corner there needs to knock. That corner there needs to knock, because I keep whacking my head on it. 
to put the um, jalapeno wine inside the cheese sauce. A hack. So I'm gonna try the cheese sauce and see what it's saying. But I'm shook. <gasps> So guys, I'm literally just about to add the seasoning mix now. I don't know if I'm going to need both of them, but I'm going to have a look. Shook I am, but you know, you got to make sure you're still mixing it as well. So guys, um, I just tried the mint and I thought, no, there's not enough flavour in this. So, I'm back and I'm adding some of the seasoning into it again um i don't know it just didn't have that strong flavor that i expected it to have just trying to make sure that the meat is really flavorsome because and that's why it's important to try your food when you're cooking as well because you really don't know how it tastes tiniest bit of water so guys the cheese sauce is done now and this is just bubbling over i'm just waiting for like all the water to come out of it um so whilst that is happening i'm gonna grate my cheese and um, to grate the cheese i'm basically gonna use a really fine cheese grater just because at taco bell you get that really fine cheese on top of the tacos so i'm just gonna go in with a really fine cheese grater it's gonna take forever to do this but you know what it's worth it because you get that real authentic you know me i'm all about getting that authentic taste and authentic feel so when i'm doing a fake away you have to get it right you're literally just gonna empty the nachos into a baking tray you want them a little bit warm you can't have cold nachos it's a bit dead bitch i'm gonna try let's do a little taste test wow raw i've got a nap my sister has to try because my sister's the nacho. Come here. Jay, Jay, try that right now. Mm. And tell me that's not the cinnamon cheese. Mm. Oh my. Mm. Jay. I'm having a one. I'm back over at this side of the kitchen now and I'm about to basically build my wraps, which I'm really excited about. So. So guys, I've got absolutely everything here in front of me. I've got my lettuce, my tomato, the cheese sauce, the beef, all the steak mints. Um, I've got my refried beans for the veggie option. And then I've got these little smaller wraps and then the toastada shells. So I'm gonna show you how to basically assemble one of the crunch wrap supremes with all these stuff. What you wanna do is put some of the beef in. So yeah, you want to put your beef in like so. I would usually put more in, but I'm scared that I'm not going to have enough for the tacos and stuff like that. So put about that much beef in. Then you want to get your cheese and just sprinkle that. Mm, this looks so good, by the way. Mm. Then you put one of these toastada shells followed by your salad cream and you cover it in salad cream um sour salad cream sour cream and then you want to get a baking spoon and just make sure you basically coated the whole thing like so then you want to put your lettuce your tomatoes Then you want to just add cheese. I did grate some cheese earlier. I'm not going to use that one because that one's for the tacos. Like when it's in a crunch wrap, it doesn't actually matter how the cheese is because you can't see it anyway. Then all you want to do is place one of these on top of that. And okay, this is the this is the hard part. Then fold it. Oh gosh, I'm breaking the bloody wraps. Fold it all in. And press it down while you're folding as well little bit and then what i'm gonna do is just turn it upside down and i'm just gonna place it straight on watch me look guys so now that that one's been on that side for a bit i'm gonna turn it over i'm actually apprehensive about it no, it, it fell. The wrap fell. Okay. Woo! Oh my god! That actually looks like a. Oh, 
So guys, I'm literally just working on the vegan one now and I'm just grating the vegan cheese over it. And obviously once I've done this, I'm gonna put the shell and then fry it either side. And then I'm gonna build the tacos after this, so yeah. So now I'm literally about to build the tacos. My camera is dying, so if I'm rushing, that's why. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just spoon some of the mixture. Oh, there we go. I reckon one spoon will do it because that's about how much you get to talk about anyway. And then you just want to put some lettuce over the top, some of the tomato. Gonna to put a little bit of red onion as well for good luck. And then a sprinkle of the cheese. So guys, this is the finished product. These are the crunch wraps here. I'm really proud of how they come out to be honest. I think they look really good. Here's the cheese sauce, the fries, the little paprika thing that you have on top of the nachos and the chips, but I've just kept it there because it's optional. I've done a guacamole, I've done some tacos, I've done some vegan tacos, and then I've done a vegan um, supreme crunch wrap. So yeah guys, it looks amazing. And before it gets too cold, I'm gonna literally call my family now it looks amazing though i'm really really happy with how this has come out little homemade talk about i'm really proud with the cheese sauce i think i think my two faves are this which i haven't actually tried yet and obviously the cheese sauce that tastes amazing we already know me and my family were having a whole taste test earlier i'm surprised there's any left to be honest but yeah guys before this gets cold i'm gonna literally serve it up to the fam now so guys i hope you've enjoyed today's video and i really hope you've enjoyed it as much as i've enjoyed recording it for you guys i've had so much fun just cooking in the kitchen i'm just cooking for you guys and just taking you guys on the journey with me as usual um if you guys again <laughs> like last time if you guys make any of these dishes please make sure to send me pictures i absolutely loved the reception of the nando's one and how many questions i'm still being asked about it now nando's is open back and people still asking me questions and stuff like that make sure you like the video because it just really helps me out if you've got any suggestions for any more fakeaways that you might want to see me do or any just general video ideas make sure you drop them down below i'm always open to suggestions and stuff like that and yes guys i hope you've enjoyed today's video and i'll see you on my next one bye Bye.